Hey guys, welcome back. And yes, we've got another laptop right here on Technobabble, although this time it's gonna be a little different. Uh, this is actually going to be a product feature. We're not gonna do a full review uh, because this laptop is extremely new. So new to the point that what we have is actually a sample, a test unit, all right? It's not the full unit that's gonna go into production. It's almost there, but yeah, we don't have the full production one here. Uh, so I only have a few days with it uh, and we're gonna give it back really soon. This laptop comes from Vio. Now, a lot of you might be really familiar with Vio, but at the same time, you probably think that it's from Sony. Now, yes, Vio was actually a line of laptops uh, made by Sony, but now they are actually an independent company, all right? They've been for the last two, three years, I think. Uh, and now, yes, they're independent. And this is not the first time. If you guys know Lenovo, it was actually from IBM, and now they are also an independent company. But anyway, I'm not going to go too much into the history of Vio. Let's go straight to the laptop. And yes, like I said, it is unopened. It is still in the DHL box, all right? But anyway, let's not waste too much time. Let's open it up. All right, so the box actually looks pretty good. I am assuming that this is the production box. This is the one that you're going to get if you buy the laptop. Um, now, this is in all black. And yes, because this is also the Vio Z. And they do have a signature black edition, all right? Now, it's not the only model that they have. They have a, a line of different laptops. But this one is their most expensive and their most premium model, all right? But anyway, let's open this up. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, it's very light. All right, so yes, this is the Vio Z. This is their most premium laptop that they have but even within the most pre, uh, premium laptop they actually have two they have the black and the signature black this is the black regular black not the signature black which is only one difference now this is actually the world's first fully carbon fiber bodied laptop so the entire body is made out of carbon fiber which is ridiculous and if you guys know anything about carbon fiber you will know that it's really expensive uh, a material is also not easy to make when you're talking about curves and all that. Usually it's mostly on flat surfaces. You see it a lot on cars uh, and it's usually known for being really strong and at the same time really light. But yeah, so this, the normal black edition has more of a regular looking matte finish. The signature black looks a lot more like carbon fiber if I'm not mistaken, but I don't have the signature black. This is the regular black. But anyway, let's put this laptop aside first. Now already it's looking incredible, but we'll get to that in a bit. Let's see what else we get in the box. So yeah, it's a sample unit. It's not the one that's for sale. Although I'm pretty sure the, the box would be production. All right, so we have the, this is a charger and I believe it's type C. And yes, it is a type C charger. Although I believe even this one, this charger is not the one that will come with the production release because it's a sample unit. This might not be the same one. Now this is, like I said, using Type-C power delivery. So yes, on the laptop, you do have Type-C charging. Uh, I'm not sure if you get anything else. And of course, okay, you get the plug and they actually come with the US plug. Uh, I hope that this has power. Otherwise I need an adapter to charge the laptop. But yeah, pretty much you just get this, this too. Again, I don't know whether you will get more stuff. You'll probably get some documentation and all that in the actual uh, production release, but with this one, that's all you have. You've got this microfiber cloth that was un was in between the laptop. Uh, I'm guessing you can use this to clean the screen as well. Anyway, let's put this aside and focus on the laptop. Now, yeah, this thing is crazy light. And of course, probably the main reason why it's so light is because the body is made up entirely of carbon fiber. That's a first. Um, it's really light. Oh, it has that same hinge. So when you lift up the screen, it actually pushes the base of the laptop up. So that's that creates a space here, which obviously helps with the circulation. So that's really good. Uh, you have a very small power button right at the top corner here. So that's good. Um, it has a webcam. Uh, and now I believe this supports uh, Windows Hello. So yes, you can log in with your face, basically. Ah, and what I really like is you have an actual manual shutter. So if you don't want the webcam uh, to actually turn on or you know, whatever, you can just close it. No matter what uh, you do, it won't work. Well, not that it won't work, but it'll be covered. So you won't be able to see anything. All right, so looking at the specs, uh, we'll go through the specific specs in a bit, but you've got an Intel Core i7 with Intel Iris Xe graphics. Now I don't see a logo here for uh, EVO certification, so I guess it's not EVO certified by Intel. It seems to have really good fans. Now, I understand it's got dual fans. It's supposed to be really good. Uh, over here, you can see the mesh here where the exhaust is here, and you've got another one over here. 
So that's great. And since we are here, let's talk about the I.O. So you have a HDMI, which I believe is HDMI 2.0. Uh, you've got a USB type C over here. You've got uh, another USB type C. This is your Kensington lock. And then you've got your combo jack. Now, I just realized you don't have a single USB type A. That's a bit of a bummer. Uh, so, yep, you're definitely going to need a dock with this. Uh, but the great thing about it is that both Type C's on both sides support power delivery. So if you you can either plug in your Type C charger on the left or on the right. All right, so we finally set up the laptop. It took a while, uh, and yes, there was only about fifteen percent battery. But the good thing is we've plugged it in, and yes, I've got my Line Eight power rails with the international plug, so that wasn't a problem. I did mention that there were fans on this. I don't know if you can hear it right now, but the fans are probably on full right now, and they are really loud. Now, like I mentioned, there are two versions. You have the black and the signature black, okay? But uh, the only difference is really how the body looks in terms of specs, they are pretty much identical. All right, anyway, so I have to read out the specs. Uh, and I have it here. So in terms of the CPU, it's an Intel i7-113070. Uh, so I believe that's a four core processor. So yes, that's the latest uh, generation of Intel CPUs. Uh, it's got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, so that's great. Uh, it's got a two, a whopping two terabytes of NVMe SSD and not just regular NVMe SSD. Now, this is the latest Intel chip. So yes, that means that it supports Gen 4 and this is a Gen 4 SSD. So yeah, the speeds are going to be incredible. We don't need to test it out to know that it's going to be incredible. Now, in terms of the display, it's a 4K display, all right? Now, it's not OLED or anything like that. It's a regular, I'm guessing it's an IPS panel because it does cover 100% of the RGB as well as the DCI-P3 color gamut. So that's actually really, really good. Uh, but overall looks, I will have to say, I really like it actually. It's, it's really cool. Like I said, it does have a fingerprint scanner as well as Windows Hello. Now, Sony actually has a VAIO control center that you get with uh, this laptop. And actually, while I'm talking about this, I realized the fan suddenly ran very quiet. So maybe it was an initial boot up thing, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, you do get a lot of options here. You can set your power and battery, you can set your input. So you've got different function keys as well. You can basically set them as macro and you can actually make them do different things. So that's really nice. Um, all sorts of other things. But the one thing that I really like is the sensor option. So over here, you have something called the walk away lock setting, which I think is really cool because if you turn that on, when you walk away, if it does, if it realizes that you're not there, it locks the screen. All right. And you can actually set like how many seconds before it locks. And of course, when you come back again, if it detects you, it locks you back in. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's try out the screen. It's a 4K screen, although it's a what? 15 inch laptop, maybe. So it might be a little overkill, but anyway, having 4K is nice. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to YouTube and play some videos. Uh, am I at full volume? No, okay. So this is lo-fi music and oh, it gets loud. Oh, but the distortion is pretty bad. Okay, well, it, it gets really loud, but there's some very, very obvious distortion. Uh, let's try something else. Oh, there's a lot of distortion coming over this side, but it is at full volume. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. As long as you're not on full volume, it's okay. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's particularly fantastic. Now some of the laptops have got really good audio nowadays, so this would be, I would say so-so. All right, so let's try some videos. And yes, actually, I forgot to mention this screen supports HDR. And you can kind of tell, like the size of the areas are now gray but the video has really good uh, contrast ratio. It actually looks really cool. So let's just play the video. I have to say, I'm actually really, really impressed with this screen. Uh, it's a 4K screen. Uh, but despite the fact that it's not OLED, it's got very good contrast ratios actually. Like especially here, let me just, like when the sun, like this area here, it's really, really good. The contrast between the dark and the bright is really good. Colors are really good. So this one, which is not the signature black, this is the regular black edition, but it's still their most premium line of laptops. 3,860 US dollars, all right? In Singapore dollars, that's just a little over $5,000. That's incredible. Now, the signature black, which has more of a carbon fiber finish, but in terms of specs, it is identical. That comes in at 4,380 US dollars. So that's about 5,008 or maybe even 5,009 Singapore. That's 
that's yeah, that's a lot of money for a laptop. Violetta has always had the same sort of signature of having really good quality, uh, built, you know, and lasted a really long time. I had a friend who had a Violetta that lasted seven years, okay, with no issue, no breakdowns. Uh, you get really good build quality. And of course, when it comes to specs, it's always top of the line, especially with their premium models. They have uh, other range of, you know, Vio laptops. I'm, I can't speak for those. Uh, but for this one, I'm pretty sure it's going to last a really long time. This is very unusual. This sort of design here, it's definitely a conversation starter. But yeah, this laptop is definitely targeted towards management business people, management level kind of uh, people who would have the money to spend. And what they really want is something that they know will last. And it's definitely a conversation starter in terms of the design. I actually think the design is, is one of the most defining features. I really, really like it. All right, so this has been my product feature for the Vio Z. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do. And I would love it if you were subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP, and I'll see you real soon.